What's up guys, welcome back to Chogo, back to another video. And in today's video, we're doing some more M3 retrofits to the 328. This car, honestly, I've been driving all day yesterday. Again, I mean, this is my daily. I've been driving it heavily. And uh, it feeling, honestly, like an M3 interior really makes the car more enjoyable to drive. Now, the only thing I did realize is that my MPG dropped from 20 to 22. I mean, from 20, 22 down to like 15. And that's because I've been uh, kind of playing out those DCT paddles. They're really fun to click and they're enjoyable. But that ultimately brings down the fuel economy because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of stepping on. That being said, this isn't an M3 and I don't want it to look like an M3. Uh, but the interior, you know, that's where you're sitting. That's where you're pretty much there the entire time. Having comfortable seats and having a really nice steering wheel with paddles is a really nice thing to have in a 328. We're keeping the exterior um, the way it pretty much is. So it does have M3 style side skirts. We're going to be keeping that on just because it's already painted. It looks pretty good. Um, it has an M3 style front bumper, which we're actually going to be replacing with an M3. M Sport. Um, the fenders are keeping them. I'm not putting any M3 fenders, not putting any M3 hood. And then, as far as the rear bumper, we're actually putting an M Sport rear bumper. So, do not worry, guys. This thing isn't gonna be like an M3, like fake or something. But, reality is, in terms of the interior, nothing could beat the quality of OEM M3 interior. I mean, just it's super high quality. That being said, though, we are doing one thing to the exterior of the car that's gonna transform it completely, in my opinion. I don't know how it's gonna come out end of the day, but I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. So, these mirror caps. A lot of people put these on their, their E92s, their non-M cars, which kind of looks like an M3 style. It doesn't look too bad, but as you can see with the uh, aftermarket caps, they do get really bad over time, and uh, I'm really not digging this setup anymore. I know this can be restored, and I'm sure we could probably do that as a separate video, but I decided while I was getting M3 parts um, I to submit an offer on some M3 mirrors. And I'm not going to lie, guys. Buying M3 mirrors is a lot more expensive than to just buy the M3 mirror caps to just put on your original I think these are like 60 bucks for the pair in carbon fiber these aren't even in carbon fiber but it just looks even the glass like in my opinion this looks so, so hey what's up guys this looks so good like the way the glass is shaped the way all this kind of sinks together um, we are gonna be trying to restore this plastic in this video as well I kind of want to get this thing restored these mirrors come in two different colors the plastic and they come in the gloss black the gloss black the pair is like a thousand bucks these, the pair are about like $700 complete as well. But I actually got these for $400, so $200 a piece with the glass, with the caps. I think for 400 bucks, this is a killer deal. And it's gonna really transform the look of this car. Now we already have kind of M3 styles, so you can kind of get the gist of it, but once we slap these on, I'm actually gonna be wrapping these in gloss black and actually uh, use them to kind of like plastic shine to like bring these out. And I think it's gonna look so much better. Also in this video, guys, I kind of want to fix some things. For some reason, after I put together all the door panels, that speaker is working, this speaker isn't. This speaker is working, that speaker isn't. I don't know why, maybe there's like a specific way you have to like plug it in. I've never had this issue before because I've done like E92 stuff, E90 stuff so many times. Maybe because it's a different kind of sound system that's in these door panels, maybe that's causing some issues or some shorts. I have no idea or maybe I just, I just literally need to flip the wires because I did plug in um, these guys. So I'm hoping if I just flip the wires, we'll be good. I'm really hoping, I don't know. So we're gonna be messing with that in a little bit as well. And in today's video, we're gonna be going down to my boy Jonathan and Nick and getting their reaction on the full M3 conversion bamboo wood, bamboo seats, bamboo door panels, center console, and the M3 steering wheel. Of course, M3 seats, but they call them bamboo, which is super nice. I think this transformation came together really nicely. I just want to add the finishing touch before I bring it down to them and get the reaction for you guys. I think they're going to be really excited to see it. I think they're going to be like, oh my god, this is beautiful because when they last saw it, they noticed the carpets were in terrible shape. Um, the seats were in okay shape, but I mean, like, I mean, hey, come on. When you upgrade to M3, it's, it's, a, it's a complete noticeable upgrade like literally if you're just pulling up next to somebody be like sheesh look at those big boys they're so thick like my god all right all right anywho um to remove these mirrors on an e92 they're actually really easy you don't actually have to remove the door panel so we're gonna try to get these off without removing the door panel um and replacing them ah my finger oh my god And just like that, guys, the mirror is off the car. So these came off of an E93, but theoretically, they should be the exact same. So <laughs> please, Lord, let this go in. Hopefully I don't break nothing because this is a very expensive mirror. Okay, well, we got the mirror on there. I think if I honestly just tighten the bolts. And 
and just like that, guys, we have the OEM M3 mirror on there. Sheesh! <laughs> so that plastic, this is the thing I don't like about the plastic one. It looks really bad compared to the gloss black. So we're definitely gonna have to try to restore this in this video. This mirror cap too. Oh wow, that came off um, a little too easy. <laughs> we're either gonna paint it. I'm actually thinking about when we actually get either this bumper repainted, which I don't think we're gonna do, probably when we get a new bumper. And uh, when we get a new bumper for the rear, we have to get that painted. We're actually gonna paint these mirror caps at the exact same time and uh, probably paint these as well because these are slightly faded. I'm probably gonna do a lot of little paint things once we actually get it on the paint shop. Um, but for now, um, I don't wanna rock white mirror caps, especially since I'm showing it to the boys and I want it to look somewhat decent. So we're actually gonna wrap this in gloss black in a little bit. So I'm gonna set that right over here. But yes, that's one mirror down. Let's go knock out the other one. So first things first guys, I wanna go ahead and just wash these. So when we actually head out and try to get that black thing for the trim, um, these should be dry by then, so. Let's just get these ready for wrap. So like I said guys, before actually wrapping it, I am gonna wait for this to properly dry. While that properly drives, uh, let's go get some gas in this car and uh, let's go get that one thing to make this super shiny. Guys, I haven't even cleaned these yet and it looks so good and ev actually everything works. I didn't have to do any program or anything. Like the mirrors adjust and everything, no problem. So that is a huge, Huge score. All right, all right, all right. Nora, stop fanboying. Let's get going. Guys, finally back home, just shaking this bottle up before applying it. I'm probably actually gonna wipe this down as well just to get any dirt off of it as well. And I'm probably gonna leave the cap off of it when I do this so I don't have the cap being weird or whatever. But anywho, so this is the before, guys. If you just take a look at it, it looks so ugly. Like honestly, I don't even understand why BMW gave it an option for without gloss. I think it should have all came gloss, but especially when you're buying an M3, I don't care if it's a base model, it should have all came gloss. But any hizzles, at least they're doing that with the new cars, so I guess they're they figured it out. All right guys, moment of truth. I'm really hoping this comes out at least somewhat decent. Okay, I mean, so far guys, it's looking absolutely incredible. I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe this down real quickly and then I'm gonna put a second layer on in about 15 minutes. Just gonna quickly just wipe it down, make sure everything is off of this mirror. Honestly guys, if it stays this way, this looks incredible. I really hope after one wash, this doesn't go away because this actually looks pretty dang good. Wow, okay, that's what I'm talking about. apply a little bit more over here and then after that I'm actually just gonna leave it and see what happens um, we're gonna wrap the mirror cap and then put it on here by the time we finish wrapping the mirror cap if it still looks this good that is honestly a pretty good product then Guys, this shine came out pretty good, but this wrap job came out terribly. Honestly, it is what it is. For now, from a distance, it looks somewhat decent, at least matches the car somewhat. Definitely gonna get this thing paint matched because paint honestly looks the best on mirror caps, but uh, for now, I think that looks pretty good. So this is the before. And guys, this is the after. Honestly, if I come into the details, the mirror is not perfect, but from a distance, it's not too bad. Honestly, this came together way better than I thought. So I'm super happy with that because that's something that honestly, I didn't know how to fix. This, we're gonna get it painted anyway. So for now guys, with the M3 mirrors on the car, sheesh.
Sheesh, I think that looks crazy good. Now that we have the mirrors on the car, polished up, wrapped, all that good stuff, uh, now it's time to get down to North Highlands to surprise the boys with the M3 interior, all the M3 modifications. I really am curious. They might, they think I think I'm crazy, or they're gonna be like, oh, dude, this looks sick. So we still have the DSC malfunction and the brake malfunction. The airbag lights did go away because of the seats. I mean, we put everything back in, so that's all good. The reason we actually have those two lights is because uh, my 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 stupid self decided to rush uninstalling the steering wheel and broke my clock spring. So I replaced the clock spring, but I think it needs to be uh, like initiated or like calibrated through the BMW software. I tried the whole steering wheel thing. That didn't work at all. So um, yeah, it needs to be coded. I'll probably do it later tonight or tomorrow. But um, other than that, shouldn't have any other lights on the dash, which I'm super stoked for. Alright guys, I just pulled up to BMA European. I want them to see the car. It is a little dirty, but I do think the transformation is going to catch them off guard. So I'm going to go ahead and get them over here so they can actually come look at this car. Unfortunately, the mirrors, they're already starting to peel. But uh, again, that's what happens with the wrap and uh, it is what it is. Ah uh, bro, so I drove my M3 today. This is <laughs> so I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't bring my 328. Oh, wow, it looks really good. It's a really nice looking M3. <laughs> Oh, you put a new bumper on it? Uh, no, same bumper. This is a little more beat up than the. <laughs> the headlights, bro. Oh. Nah, same stuff, same stuff. So I get around to the interior. Oh, bro, what? Oh, dude, these are comfy. Right, comfy. dude, they're so comfy, bro. Oh, bro, what? Uh, bro, sit, so cool. sit inside, sit inside. Check out that, check out that bamboo. Oh, check out that steering wheel too. Dude, Sheesh. I love this trim. Doesn't it look good, bro? It's like snakeskin. It's so different, dude. Like that's the thing. Like I, I dig it because it's different. If everyone had a bra, I'd be over. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, yeah, but I think it's because it's bro, different. Bro, this is crazy. He's got like little. Oh, he's got. He's like, oh, I'll just take that for myself. Nah, bro, yeah. This looks pretty really good. It's crazy, Always right? Put your e brake on though. Huh? Always put your e brake on. Dude. It's an automatic, bro. I don't care. <laughs> don't it's, out, bro. it's not going anywhere, bro. Got, but yeah, I mean. Actually work? Uh, yeah, they work. Dude, like, Upshift, downshift, no problem. Try them yeah, wanna go for it? Yeah. All right, hold up. Stay humble, baby. Stay humble, boy. Jeez. Stay humble, Stay. habibi. Bro, this is actually really nice. Like this, like jet tag, whatever. Sheesh! Link down below. <laughs> you heard the man. <laughs> bro, this oh, is. Man. Oh man. Bro, on, bro. It is so comf back here too. Like sheesh, bro. Bro. Give space to the M3, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what M3, bro? This is the M3. Alright, well, I mean, it might be missing two cylinders, but... I mean, it sounds like an M3. <laughs> Jonathan, the disrespect, bro. What are you talking about? That's a V8. <laughs> <laughs> it feels kind of crazy, bro. bro. I feel like I'm actually an N. Bro, you made these things look so clean. Oh, yeah, you see the mirrors? You did, you did what I was saying? Yeah, about? I did exactly what you said. Bro, they look so I went, good. I didn't Dude, know that was a thing, bro. I used, like, this, like... like. Die? No, no, it's kind of like... A, maybe it could be a die, right? It's like a sponge. Yeah, it's a sponge, but for like plastic and stuff, and it makes it look real good. Really? Yeah, yeah, you can do it on your mirrors too, bro. It looks so sick. Sheesh! Hi! That is an M52 power! Hey, bro, this thing is rough. I uh, know, bro. It's only on H rearing lowering springs too. Kind of crazy, huh? It's on. Oh, it's only on lowering springs? Yeah, it feels like coolovers. Sheesh, overs. bro. Freaking... I almost had a concussion back here, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this is crazy, bro. Like, this is. I actually really love these seats, bro. They're the, sick, the right? The quality is just nuts. Bro, what you pay? Like 800 yeah, bucks for them? Uh, 750. Oh my gosh, bro. That's after tax too, so that's a crazy good deal. That is a really good deal. Oh, check out that bamboo trim. Glistening. Nah, this trim actually like pops out so much, dude. Guys, it looks so good for a daily. Like, oh my God. We definitely need to slap an M Sport bumper on there. That rear bumper is just hideous. Painted a different color. All right, guys. So Johnny actually has an extra trim piece. Mine looks kind of like tacky like bro, i don't know what happened it over it looks painted yeah but it did. pull that thing out bro but john is like super delicate nick is like bro just <laughs> he's a professional <laughs> so yeah now that we had that out where's it, it bro, the other ones like, in the trunk it looks like these things are painted too bro you see and now uh, i'm just waiting for a new one all right guys this is the new piece right here though. it yeah. is a little dirty but we can clean it when it's on there it ain't much but it's honest work bro that's all that matters <laughs> honestly that's better it is better. that's better, better like here can't see the yeah thing. I mean, it's a little rough, but I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I appreciate you, Johnny. That's definitely better. Better than nothing. <laughs>
And guys, now that we're finally back home, uh, there's a few more things I do want to work on the car. So first off, we still haven't got those two lights off the dash. I might plug in my computer and see if we can figure that out. I think it's right over there. So yeah, I might pull up that computer. We might try to figure it out ourselves. I'll be so proud of myself if I can actually figure that out. But anywho, uh, the thing I want to work on right now, if I go ahead and play music right now, uh, let's go ahead and just click play. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Music's playing on that side, but not this side. Nothing. So super confusing. Let me check the rear speaker if that one's good. Let me check that one over there real quick. Yeah, so this one's good. It's working. And this one's working too. This one, nothing. This one, actually, there is something. So this one's working too. It's just this guy, for some reason, is not working. I don't know if the speaker is blown or I just didn't connect this. So let's go ahead and take off this door panel again and check if that thing's connected. And I forgot to click the record button, guys. So I took off that door panel. I switched over the two plugs for the, the tweeter, or whatever it's called, and the speaker, and still nothing. So I'm starting to assume that this speaker could be blown. So it is what it is. We definitely need to get a new speaker on that door because if that speaker's not working, that tweeter's not working, and it literally sounds like sound is only coming from one side of the car. So it's super annoying. So I'm probably gonna order a speaker as soon as possible. But yeah, in the meantime, I'm gonna pull out my laptop, see if I can figure out the whole, you know, uh, uh, clock spring situation. We are at the end of the video. So if you guys actually like the way those M3 mirrors came out, make sure to smash that like button. Um, as far as the whole speaker situation goes, I'm also starting to believe that possibly we're drawing too much power because we have M3 speakers in the, ca in the car now. And not only are the M3 speakers, but they pos I think, uh, well, not really M3 speakers. I think they're like Logic 7 or something. But also the tweeters in the rear are connected and the tweeters in the front are connected. Maybe it's just drawing too much power or maybe that driver one, I mean the passenger one is blown. So we'll have to see Probably get that replaced first thing, and if it ends up working, that's all gravy in the Navy. If it doesn't work, um, we'll probably have to just put all the speakers back to factory and unplug the tweeters because it is the base, base, base sound system in that car. We might even do like some kind of like hi fi or Logic 7 retrofit. We'll end up finding out if we're going to do that. Or honestly, uh, those speakers are okay. Um, Harman Kardon is great, but to do that retrofit is going to cost too much. I'll probably just do like an aftermarket speaker setup if we end up going down that route. Now, as far as the lights on the dash, it ends up, it's not actually the whole steering angle sensor situation. It actually just needs the DSC coded in. Um, some of you guys actually said that in the last video, so thank you guys for that. I'll end up coding that probably later today or tomorrow. But other than that guy, but other than that guys, I think the 328 is really coming together. Hopefully in the next video or something, I'm gonna try to get that muffler delete and the resonator delete back in order um, and a few other modifications onto the car as well. I did also pick up an M Sport bumper, so I'll be showing you guys that pretty soon as well uh, for the rear. I still can't find any for the front. They're really expensive. If you guys are enjoying the daily uploads, make sure to smash the like button. It's gonna be truly supporting me and it's really hard to be on top of but I really 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 want to do it for you guys and also for myself as a challenge But yeah guys without further ado, that's gonna have to conclude the video I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out